Hey. Oh, hey. What's going on? <sighs> Nothing right now. I'm just signing the documents for being officially in LSB leadership. Maybe you should get an assistant or something. Assistant? Like who? Hmm. Maybe I can help? What? What, what the hell, Gianna? How'd you get here? Some guy named Nolan brought me here. No way, I can't believe they did this. Yeah, Lord Gabriel was more than happy to find her. You did this? Of course I did, we're a trio. I can't believe this. Well believe it, because I'm so mad at you. What, why? You didn't tell me any of this. You left to find answers and now you're a lord? You have some kind of magical power against corrupted souls, and on top of that, apparently you have a boyfriend? Oh my god, no, he, no, he is not my boyfriend. We aren't even seeing each other. In fact, I literally hate him. What? Something apparently happened in Verona that made her furious with Makai. She won't say what, though. Octavia Ray! There's literally nothing to talk about. I never liked him like that to begin with. Guys, I swear I don't have any feelings for Makai. At least not anymore. So you admit you do? I don't know. I think there is a possibility that I did, but that's long gone now. I I'm over it. I'm so lost. Yeah, seriously. What even happened? If I tell you guys, you can't repeat any of this. Fine. Deal. Now spill, Octavia. Okay, we're waiting. I didn't like him. Or at least, I didn't think I did until Nora filled my head with crap. Hey! It's true. I didn't even think of like that until... What happened? Well, I knocked on his door at the inn and he answered. Half-dressed. Whoa. Yeah. So you were attracted to him? I, I guess. Okay, so if you are, then why are you saying you don't like him anymore? There was a woman in his room. Oh, shit! What the hell? I'll kill him! I bet it was that girl from the tavern. She's always hooking up with people. Someone find my dagger! Where is it? Whoa, slow down. There's no reason to get violent. I mean, I don't even know I liked him, let alone find him attractive. It's not his fault. He and I were never a thing, so it's fine. Anyways, I'm over it. I don't care for him like that anymore. Those itsy bitsy feelings are most definitely gone. This is so stupid. You're telling me. It's been too long since Joshua. Seriously. Oh my god, would you stop mentioning him? He's gone. He left me a long time ago, and I don't care anymore. He's living his life, and I'm living mine. I'm sorry, Tavy. Me too. I just want you to be happy. Thank you guys, but all of this is over with, so let's just move past it. I have a question. What is it? Gianna and I know nothing about Ellesmere. What do we need to know? Who's who? Uh, well, um, there's leadership. Nolan, he has blonde hair, blue eyes. He's a very sweet guy. He's a guard here, and he used to do trade with Floris. And there's Philip. Philip is another guard. A little older than all of us. He's very nice and was the first to help me when I got here. There's Lennon, who is also a guard. Um, brown hair, brown eyes. He's smart. He knows his stuff. He's also really close with Philip. Um, then there's Makai. He's hard headed, arrogant, annoying, and rude. <laughs> but he's nice overall. And lastly, in leadership, there's Lord Gabriel. He's very commanding and he's good at taking care of the guards. He's always making sure our safety is secure. Yeah. There's also Caroline and Athena. Uh, Athena works in the inn, taking care of Caroline, who is maybe. Seven? Evelyn and Zoe. Uh, Evelyn runs the bakery with her daughter Zoe. They're really nice people and they serve incredible food. Oh, and Zoe has like mad feelings for Makai and Makai is stupid and said he didn't care for that kind of stuff. But uh, then proceeded to let a 
whore in his room, so I don't know. <laughs> oh. <sighs> but besides that, I haven't really met anyone else. It's pretty quiet around here. There's Lorraine and Esther. They're the girls who have been helping me with the situation. Lorraine is a healer and Esther is a scientist. Their friend Lewis is also here. He should be moving in soon, actually. Lord Gabriel is giving a speech about you today in the town square. What do you mean? Yep, he's making it official in like an hour. What? And no one told me? Well, we were supposed to. Well, you should have started with that. Oh, relax. Relax? Relax? I have nothing to wear. Yes, you do. I made you something. You did? Yes, here. Go try it on. Uh, okay. You look gorgeous, Tavy. I do? Yes, of course. <gasps> you look beautiful. Now do a spin. Okay, okay. What's that? What's what? That mark on your back? It looks like a tattoo. What? Yeah, what is that? What are you guys talking about? I only have a florist tattoo. Um... You guys are freaking me out here. It might have something to do with your strain. Shit, I, I need to go find Louis. Thank you so much for this. Uh, I'll see you guys later at the speech. She's such a mess. No kidding. Hey, aren't you supposed to be at the town square? I have a problem. What? Come in. Octavia? What's going on? Th there's a thing on my back. What thing? Oh my god. What is it? It looks like an emblem. That's because it is. It, it is? It's from the changing. There's nothing to fear. What do I do? Nothing. There is no use in trying to cover it up. <sighs> You're right. <sighs> Octavia, you have an amazing ability. You are going to save us all. You can kill those cursed creatures. Focus on that, not on the emblem. I'm sorry. I'm so on edge with what Lord Gabriel is doing right now. Well, you're about to miss it. It's about to start. What? Oh my god, let's go. There you are! Where have you been? I was taking care of a problem. What's wrong? Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't look okay. I feel like I'm going to have a meltdown, so let's just get this over with. Octavia, maybe you should go lie down. You don't have to be here. Yes, I do. Octavia... People of Ellesmere, thank you for joining us on this beautiful day. You all may be wondering what this meeting is for. You see, due to the outbreak, I've not been able to spare my time to take care of your needs. Makai, what are you doing? You look like you're going to fall over, and that would be really embarrassing. Makai! Shh, just shut up. You're fine. I won't let you fall. This is why I have decided to recruit a strong woman from Flores to help share the duties of being a lord. Her job is to protect you and take care of your needs. She deserves the most respect, and I'm sure you will have no problem giving her that. For a few words, I introduce Octavia Lawrence. You'll be fine. Go. <clears throat> People of Ellesmere, my name is Octavia Ray Lawrence. I am the daughter of Lord Maverick of Flores. I'm here to start my own name, and I'm here to stay. You all deserve to be treated with the best care, and I intend to do just that. I have established trade in Verona to start our own trade routes. We'll be growing our own crops and making our own mines. Starting next week, we will have our first shipment. We have a lot of work to do here in Ellesmere, but it'll be all be possible because of you. I'm so grateful to have this opportunity to be partnered with Lord Gabriel, and I cannot wait to meet each and every one of you. Thank you. See, that was 
wasn't so bad. Shut up, Mackay. In celebration of Lord Octavia, we will be hosting a party in her name at the center in a few days. You are all invited. Please, keep an eye out for the notice on the announcement board. We can't wait to see you all there. You're all dismissed. A party? You're joking. I'm not. I personally can't wait for this. It's really gonna make the people happy. But we still have to keep watch. We will. We'll be taking turns in groups of two patrolling. Everything will be fine, Miss Octavia. Okay. Does this mean we have to dress up? Yes, it does! Nora! <laughs> Men, this Nora and Gianna, they are very dear friends of Octavia. They grew up in Flores together. It's nice to meet you all. Welcome to Alosmere. Which one is Mackay? Shut up! Ow! <laughs> what idiots. <laughs> is something the matter between you two? No, sir. They're fine. I would like to take all your measurements later. I'll be making you all outfits for the party. Really? Yep. Ah, I forgot to mention, Nora's a tailor, and according to Octavia, she's very talented. Why, thank you. I don't have a place to set up shop yet, so you can stop by Octavia's house, and we'll start from there. Wait, do we all have to be dressed up? Yes, Makai. Come on, guys. That'll be fun. You're only saying that because Elizabeth will be there. Who's Elizabeth? Guys, stop it. He's liked her forever. Guys. Oh, Philip. Not you too, Miss Octavia. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry. Our lips are sealed. Absolutely. Well, thank you. Maybe you can steal a dance at the party. Miss Octavia! Well, I need to head back to Lewis. What are you talking about? Ugh, oh, it's nothing. It's okay to talk to us, you know. We noticed an emblem marking on our back earlier. Gianna! What? It's no big deal, I guess. Let me see. What? Let me see. You said it's on your back? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, um, by my shoulder. Oh, it doesn't look dangerous. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what they were saying. I'm sure you're fine. Yeah. Well, just keep an eye on it just in case. We should start preparing for the party. Ooh, let me help. I love coordinating things. She really does. Oh, well, all right. I need you to speak to Evelyn and Zoe to cater the party. We have some old decorations that we can help put up. This is so exciting! <gasps> I need to get my supplies. All of you, show up for me later to get the measurements. I gotta run. I'll go with her. Thank you for all of this. It's really sweet of you. Of course! You're one of us, Octavia. We should celebrate that. <laughs> well, I need to catch up with those two. I fear what chaos I'll bring without my supervision. Totally understand. Now you know what I have to put up with every day. <laughs> I'll see you guys around. Well, at least Octavia isn't pissed at you anymore, Makai. Yeah, what was that about? Oh, I don't know. Well, like Lord Gabriel said, at least it's over. Yeah. Except it isn't. What? What are you talking about, Nolan? Well, honestly can't say much, but I overheard her talking about Makai to Gianna and Nora. What was she saying? I can't say. She left in the middle of it. Why the hell is she mad at me? Did you do anything bad in Verona? No. At least I don't think so. Women are confusing like that. <sighs> you got that right. I mean, maybe she's mad because I kicked some guy out from the inn that she was with. What? I didn't hear about that. What happened? Dunno. She came back late drunk off her ass with some guy. I heard her laughing with him from down the hall, and then I kicked the guy out. 
Oh, damn. I was talking to Nora when they came back. Apparently Octavia isn't even a drinker. No kidding, she was wasted. That's so weird. Yeah. Why did you kick him out? What do you mean? Maybe she's angry because you kicked him out. So why did you? I... I don't... I don't know. He could have had bad intentions. I doubt it. Apparently she recruited a guy to work here as a guard. Maybe that was him? Can she even do that? I mean, yeah. She's a lord now. She can do whatever she pleases. But so are you. Yeah, well, she has the power to recruit, but I have the power to dismiss him since I'm in charge of all of you. Do you think she's actually mad at me for that? Probably Mikai. What do I do? Apologize. Get her flowers? This is ridiculous. <laughs> Get used to it, man.